Good day, Domic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is driving in crappy weather vlog. It is Tuesday, February 16th. I did that without a calendar. <laughs> and uh, I am off to the doctor to get my blood test. I've been fasting for 12 hours, and uh, this blood test will see if the technology is correct or not if it's if my blood comes back exactly the same as the first blood test then we know the technology works if it comes in like half of what the readings were uh, then the technology doesn't work and you should fast before you do a blood test <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that it's less than half of what it said so my triglycerides were, last time I was there two years ago, a year and a half ago, they were at one point something. Now they're at five point something, which is really bad. Uh, but like I said last time, I went from the doctors, did a McDonald's review of two different burgers, and then went and got my blood test. So I'm hoping that is the reason why my blood was so out of control and uh, the technology at the blood place doesn't work the way it's supposed to so that's my, my my hopes and my dreams right there but we still have to change my diet a little bit for sure uh, and get all my cholesterol and everything really far down the list oh let us through it's a green light dude all right so i have to go get my blood and then i gotta get back and work with carl all day if i don't get through this light i am gonna cow Go, dude. Floor it. Move. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I got a blood test to do. Jeez, like nobody's in a hurry to go anywhere. This is why I work at home, people. <laughs> Road rage. We are at the blood clinic. This used to be uh, the... Bradford Public Library, just in case you live in Bradford area and you didn't know where the blood clinic is. The health unit. So let's get our blood sucked out of us. Have our fingers crossed at the same time. Well, all done, the blood test. No gravy poured out, so that's a good sign. It's uh, 8.58. I think I got here at 7.30. An hour and a half. Holy schmoly. I thought I was gonna do well, like get in there and nobody's gonna be in there. We think it's because after the, the Carol called me, she's like, are you still there? And she said, or I said that she, uh, they, uh, or sorry, she said that they uh, probably are backed up because it's a holiday Monday yesterday. And, uh, they're backed up. A lot of people wanted to come yesterday, but of course they couldn't, so now they're all coming today. By the time I left, it was double, double the amount of people in there. So I had to make sure the radio turned it down. Okay. Turn it down. Anyway, so uh, I gotta get home and start editing with Carl. It is now around 2.30 in the afternoon. Carl has just left. I'm walking Sammy right now. Because it's time. I let him out earlier, just out the back door for a quick peep pee. And he's doing his thing right there. <sighs> anyway, so I have to pick that up. I'll be right back. All right, the mess has been cleaned. The cleaner has finished his job. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I have to put together the vlog because I didn't have time this morning. The uh, the blood test thing took way too long. And uh, so we started working at around 9.30. Actually did pretty good. This is started late. <clears throat> and uh, we had to move the footage from his drive onto my drive. Boy, he's like backing up all the footage. So he captures his house, brings a drive in. I move the footage over. And that way we never have, never can lose anything. Anyway, so time to finish the vlog. 
Okay guys, I forgot my vlogging camera at home because we had to go to the hospital because Ben has punctured his lung. We don't know exactly how yeah. he punctured his lung. He said he was putting on his shirt this morning and felt a sharp pain. And uh, now they have to put in, so that you said that they, there's a hole in his lung that is filling right up here, a membrane. Good. So you have um, your lung. Oh, jeez. Almost knocked his phone off. So there's the, your lung and there's a membrane over, or like a kind of a layer, and there's nothing between them. But somehow it was, I think the doctor said it was like a spontaneous eruption. A sp <laughs> spontaneous rupture, and there's a very small hole in the, on the actual, like in the actual lung. And so that's causing air to come between these two, which isn't allowing my lung to have a full expansion. Right. So they have to put a tube in to take out that air so that this can heal so that I can continue with my daily life. Hmm, and you'll be in the hospital for 24 hours. Yeah, at least. So I'll be bringing uh, the vlogging camera tomorrow and keep you guys up to date. Um, of course, I asked Ben before I started videotaping whether or not he wanted this in the vlog, and he said, sure, people want to know these things, so that's also, cool. my rib popped out <laughs> so earlier today as well. But that popped out because of your lung? It could have been because of my lung, I believe so. I guess that's why. Okay. Right? But like my, my one of my lungs, um, according to my physiotherapist, had like popped out of its um, place in my spine, and it was hanging on by ligaments, and so she popped it back in. And, and then she listened to your uh, listened chest. To heart, and it sounded like there was something. It was funny. I was actually on my way out the door, and she's like, "Actually, hold on, just one second. I need to check one more thing." She's smart. And then, she you, she took a stethoscope and put it right side, right side, and then left side, left side. Sorry, no, right side, left side, right side, left side. But like up here, she sounded fine, equal on both sides. But down here, down here, like down oh. on my left side, it was um, it was decreased breathing. Like it, my lung wasn't as active as my right lung. So she's like, well, maybe your lung's collapsing. You should go get that go to the ER and maybe get some x-rays because your lung could be collapsing. Nope. I think it's, is that worse or, <laughs> is it worse or better? I guess what we found. I yeah. So she, she got still, your rib back shitty. into spot. Yeah. And then so she, she was smart back. enough to say, you know what, let's just yeah. investigate a little bit further. And then and so, as soon as soon as you got home, we decided to come to the, we we're just going to go to like a, a clinic and get an x-ray to see if it was, uh, what was the main reason we just wanted to see if it was a punctured lung or a deflated lung or whatever? But we didn't know it was punctured. We didn't even think yeah, of that. Yeah, we just thought, I just knew. Yeah. Collapsing lung. Anyway, there's some news for you people. Way to go, Ben. I could be watching TV right now. I'll see you in like watching a movie. 24 hours, probably less. No, I'm going to be here the whole time. The whole time? One of us has to go home. We'll see. the procedure has been done. Ben is doing, how are you doing? I, I can't speak for you. It hurts a lot. Um, it, it's like hard to breathe and talk and laugh and like because there's things in between my lungs and the lung membrane. It's hard to even move without it flaring up in pain. So, but it, it's, I guess it's for the better, so it's okay. Yeah, so it's uh, 11 o'clock, we're gonna go home. Yeah. And we'll be here first thing in the morning, bringing a toothbrush, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> or are you coming straight back? Anyway, so have a good night, sir. Good night. We'll see you, I love you. See you later. Wait, which one's this, KBD? This will go on the vlog channel. KBD, so which one is that, KBD Nation? It's uh, Domic Nation. Domic Nation, peace out, Domic Nation. <laughs> All right, guys, to finish off yesterday's vlog, as soon as I got home, I was so wiped out. This went straight to bed, out cold, done. Uh, so right now I'm just putting together the video as fast as I can to get it out to you guys so that Carol and I can zip over to the hospital and, and hang out with Ben for the day and make sure he's comfortable and stuff like that. Um, I think we might take two cars so Carol can stay there all day and I can, actually Carol has to do a physio thing at five so um, I think it's best if we take two cars. It's about 40 kilometers west of here. Um, yeah, when we were leaving, uh, to take Ben to the 
to like a clinic to go get a chest x-ray because we thought it was um, a pinched nerve or something like that. Uh, that's what I was thinking it was. And Carol's like, you know what? We're not gonna, it's because the, the clinic closed at seven and it was like 6.30 when we were leaving here. And she's like, you know what? We're gonna get there and they're gonna say, we've stopped taking clients as of 6.30. So they're gonna waste our time. She said, let's just zip over to the hospital in Alliston. And, and uh, so we did that and you know what happened? Yeah. So, yeah. So like I said, I got, I called Carl off today. Uh, I have to uh, finish this up, get it out to you guys, and uh, I'll report to you from the hospital. And now it's time for happy birthday shoutouts for Wednesday, February 17th, and they are Ruth, Nick, Jake, Elizabeth, Joey, Chris, Moore, Carlos, Kelly, this guy, and Julianne, an awesome friend of ours. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday.